dear students now i am going to explain how to perform the experiment to determine the planck's constant and the work function using photoelectric effect so aim of this experiment is we have to find out the work function as well as the planck's constant so what are the apparatus required let us see so this is the planck's constant apparatus required here two meters mentioned one is micro ammeter so negative and a positive terminal for this so this is uh, here we are going to measure the current its unit is micro amp and then this is the voltmeter here we are going to measure the voltage positive and a negative terminal for this its unit is voltage volt okay and next this is the uh, input that means we can change the voltage from 0 to 2 volts okay and this is the on off switch for this board and the next one is when uh, actually what is the photoelectric effect when the light incident on the metal surface it emits the electrons so we need the metal surface to perform the experiment so here in this box we are having the metal surface inside okay so here here if the light is falling on the metal it will produce the electrons right and then on the back side we have the two terminals positive and a negative terminal so this is the metal surface right and the next one is in this metal surface we are going to use the filters so different color filters we are having orange red green blue different colors of filters we are having to perform this experiment and the next one is incandescent bulb so this is the light source we are going to use for this experiment so these are the apparatus required to perform this experiment next i will explain how to give the connection as per the circuit given okay let me show the circuit now now you see this is the circuit required to perform this experiment voltmeter is there micro ammeter and then light is falling on the metal surface so this part is the metal surface so according to this circuit i am going to give the connection so first see here voltmeter positive and the micro ammeter positive is connected so now i am going to take this patch cord and give the connection first so what i say positive terminal of this micro ammeter is connected to the negative sorry positive terminal of the voltmeter so this is connected and the next step is next step is the metal surface positive comes to voltmeter negative so take the wire the surface positive comes to voltmeter negative so this is the voltmeter negative okay so this part is done metal surface positive comes to voltmeter negative and the metal surface negative comes to micro ammeter negative so take the patch cord see here micro ammeter negative to metal surface negative that's it okay so this is the circuit now the circuit connection is over after that the metal surface should face the light so the light should incident on the metal surface so that the current will be produced okay so this is what the setup we have to perform the experiment so now let us give the connection now listen after giving the connection you check this two meters there is no light incident on this metal surface so no electrons are emitted that's what here the current value is zero okay now switch on the light first see here the moment light is incident on the metal surface the electrons are produced are emitted by the metal surface see here the current value is almost 5.24 right now how we have to perform the experiment is now listen carefully first thing i am taking this blue color filter and i am keeping in the path of this light okay so once i kept here now listen the value is 3.3 Three zero, right? This is the micro ammeter rated. That is the current value. Now I have to make this current zero. Okay, that potential energy is that uh, voltage is called the stopping potential. Now I have to increase this voltage value to make this current zero. Okay, I am just to keep on increasing the voltage. The current value is decreasing. Okay, I am further increasing to make the current zero. Now you see. The current value is 0 0.00, current is 0, by the time we kept the voltage 0 0.788, 0 0.788. So this is the stopping potential for the blue color. So in this tabular column, you have to note down the stopping potential 
for the blue color. See here in this tabular column we have the different filter colors red, orange, green, blue. First we kept the blue color, its frequency they mentioned over here 6.06 .06 into 10 to the power of 14. In this place we have to note down the stopping potential that is 0 0.787. So note down that value here 0 0.787 okay. Now you see I just noted the value here stopping potential for blue color is 0 0.787. In that same way we have to perform for remaining filters also. So before performing before changing this filter okay first remove this remove the blue color filter and keep green color one in the path of the light and make this potential zero. Okay for every time before inserting the filter we should make this voltage. 0 ok. Again switch on the light. See here its ammeter value is 0 0.01.19 like that. What is our duty now? We have to adjust this voltage to make this current value 0. So adjust here. When I am increasing the voltage the current is becoming less. Now you see the current value is around 0 ok. Now what is the voltage here 0 0.617 for green color the potential that is stopping potential is 0 0.617 ok. Now green color filter is over next we have to change the uh, orange color filter. So re must first make this voltage 0 and then remove this green color filter and insert the orange color one ok. Repeat the same thing now it is showing certain micrometer value adjust this voltage to make it 0 see this the ammeter value is 0 and what is the current sorry voltage value here 0 0.465 ok. So, for orange color it is 0 0.465 ok and next we have to insert the red color filter make this voltage 0 insert the red color filter into this it is showing very less current value adjust this now the current that is current is 0 and the value of the voltage is 0 0.279 at 0 0.280 right 0 0.280. Now you see we have taken all the 4 values for the 4 filters. So these values are the stopping potential that is it the experimental part is over next we have to draw the graph as well as we should do the calculation for this experiment that we will discuss in the next video. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,